It's a beautiful day in Sioux Falls, and here today at the Sanford Pentagon, it's semifinal day in the Central Regional, as today we begin action with Washburn taking on Northwest Missouri State in an MIAA return bout. Let's take a look at how both of these teams punched their ticket to the semifinals today. Yesterday in action with Northwest Missouri State, it was all through the hands of West Dreamer and Trevor Hudgens. Those two powered their way to the big win over Minnesota State, Moorhead and the Dragons. You take a look at West Dreamer and what he was able to do in the second half of play. You see him spot up for the three there as Dreamer finished the day with 16 total points. And quickly adding on to it was Hudgens with his 19 for the team lead. For Northwest Missouri State, they led by 17 at one point in the win over Minnesota State Moorhead, and they punched their ticket to today. Their opponent, the seven-seeded Ichabods out of Washburn, and they played a phenomenal game against Minnesota Duluth as Johnny Fossing and company, they powered their way to a victory in which they turned around in that contest, led in part by Tyler Guymans, 21, and Jalen Lewis also had 21. That guy right there, the freshman, and Michael Keegan had a couple of big blocks in the game, setting up this matchup, a return bound. Fourth time over this season between Washburn and Northwest Missouri State. These two teams, they're pretty familiar with each other to say the least. As you take a look at the history between the two, Washburn with the overall series lead 66 to 53. This is the eighth meeting in the last two years between the two with Northwest Missouri State leading that series four to three. And they just played last week with Northwest Missouri State winning that one 84 to 76. And on top of that, the last four games between these two teams went one possession games. Let's take you down to the court and our starting lineups for today for our first semifinal matchup. Here's your starting lineups for tonight with Washburn taking on Northwest Missouri State again for Washburn. It'll be Connor Deffenbaugh, Tyler Guyman, Jalen Lewis, Michael Keegan, and Johnny Klossig. For Northwest Missouri State here today, they'll have one slight change to their starting lineup. Diego Bernard will start. Isaiah Jackson will get the start today after he did not start last night. Brian Alexander got that start yesterday, but it will be Jackson from Independence, Missouri, and his redshirt freshman year getting the call here this evening. Wes Dreamer, along with Trevor Hudgens and Luke Waters, all set to take the floor for Northwest Missouri State. Pleasure to be with you here this afternoon. I'm Jerry Pileschi. Let's have some fun. It's the Central Region from the Sanford Pentagon in Sioux Falls. 29 and five for Northwest Missouri State entering today. And for Washburn as the seventh seed, 22 and 10 overall. The crowd rises to their feet, a great crowd on hand. Both of these schools bringing the heat in terms of the crowd noise yesterday, anticipating the same here. They just played a week ago, let's do it again. It's Washburn, Northwest Missouri State. It's Clossing, jumping one-on-one -on -one against Waters. And we're underway from Sioux Falls. Washburn will control the tip, and they begin in their navy blue jerseys. 
Setting the offense will be Clausey and company. The freshman and Michael Keegan mentioned yesterday three blocks in the win over the Dragons. He's going to set the screen. And here's an open three opportunity. Deffenbaugh catches in to start. They'll call it a two. Foot was on the line. Two nothing for Washburn. Trevor Hudgens and company for the defending champions out of Northwest Missouri State. Hey, Guyman comes over with it. Inside gets ball. Possession arrow goes to the Bearcats. Hudgens, a six foot, 180 pound junior out of Manhattan, Kansas, will bring it forward. Team leader with 19 points yesterday. This Bearcat team, you take a look down the line, four players in double digits, including that guy, Dreamer, from downtown. Dreamer, 16 yesterday, double-double with 12 rebounds to add to it. And the Bearcats jump up by one. Deffenbaugh finds Lewis, but stripped away by Bernard. Bernard, one-on-one, -on -one, draws the contact. The Washburn crowd not happy with it, but the foul is called. And they'll tag it on Lewis. Diego Bernard is perfect from the free throw line yesterday, three for three. Finished with 11 points, he's quiet in the first half, outside of being a defensive menace for the Dragons, hits the first. Bernard this season, 81%. It's the 14th bear count with 1,000 points and 500 rebounds through his career. Got them both. Three-point advantage for the Bearcats just underway here in Sioux Falls. It'll be Guyman, Keegan, and Lewis. Lewis trying to battle between the two screens. They give it to the big man down low. Flossing, double team, back out. Guyman will drive. In the lane, out Keegan for three. Looking for the tie, not there. Rebound, fought for. Flares out of bounds, last touch by the Bearcats and off the hands of Isaiah Jackson. Guyman, high top. 10 on the shot clock. They feed it inside, Clausing. One dribble, backing his way in, and he traveled. We'll have to keep a look at Johnny Clausing and company for Washburn today. He was in foul trouble yesterday. And then Jeremy Harrell, who will tend to replace him in those situations. Harrell went down with an injury yesterday. We'll see if he's able to return today. Bounce pass inside, reverse layup connects for Isaiah Jackson. 7-2 start for Northwest Missouri State. Keegan to Clausing. Clausing. Acts his way in, falls down with the ball, saves it. 10 on the shot clock for the Ichabods. Jump pass, Lewis, near side wing. Five, down to four. Lewis, baseline jumper, draws the contact. It will be Jalen Lewis heading to the free throw line. Lost his shoe in the process. Setting up at the free throw line will be Jalen Lewis. Tenth all time in Washburn history for scoring. 120th career game. He's also made the most three-pointers in school history. An 85% free throw shooter. And he got both. Three-point lead for Northwest Missouri State. Hudgens off the drive, finds Bernard. Bernard in the lane, back out. Hudgens thought about the three. An attack instead down low. 
looking for Jackson, stolen away, Deffenbach. Here's a three opportunity, deep in and out. Jackson with the rebound. Nice move, feet inside, back out again. The big man thought about it for a moment, goes in the lane, floats it up off the back of the rim. Rebound from Clausen. Screen from Clausen, four minutes gone, first half. Tempted shot for Guyman off the mark. Rebound from Dreamer, and the Bearcats on the move again. Waters. Hudgens. Hudgens gets the separation, kicks it back out. Bernard with it. Contact made, reach and foul. Deffenbaugh puts his hand up, and he'll be the guilty party. 15 41 remaining in this first half. It's Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn, 7 4. This is the Central Regional here at the Sanford Pentagon in Sioux Falls. Welcome back inside the Sanford Pentagon. 15-41, remaining in the first half, 7-4. Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn. This MIAA rematch again between the two. Fourth time this season. Will be Bearcat basketball. So will be Hudgens working against Guyman. Off the screen, Hudgens to the free throw line. Drives, tough shot up over the rim. Rebound secured by Kevon Ellis, who's into the game for the first time out of the timeout. Ellis yesterday had about 19 minutes worth of playing time. Also hit double digits with 10 total. Hudgens back out, Dreamer from downtown, swish. The sophomore out of Alvo, Nebraska. Knocks it through and brings the Bearcat fans to their feet. Ellis Deffenbaugh, Guyman off the screen from Klausen. Drive, kick out, the three to answer, not there. Ellis didn't connect. Going to extend the six point advantage, Waters. Stops mid-range, finds Bernard. Into the lane, nice pass down low. Jackson up, trying to go for the big six foot seven frame of Clossing. That didn't pay off. Into the corner, Ellis is gonna try again. This time he got it. Three point lead for the Bearcats. Here, the crowd in the background. The numbers for Washburn, a lot more Northwest Missouri State fans in the house, but they are loud. Foul coming in. Charge against Washburn, and they're gonna tag it on Deffenbaugh. 
So that's his first personal foul. They tagged the last one prior to the timeout on Jalen Lewis, so he's tagged with two. Free throw line goes Bernard. Two for two already. Three for three. Washburn will bring Levi Braun into the contest. Played nine minutes yesterday. And Michael Keegan returns as well. Got the second one. Five-point lead for Northwest Missouri State. Keegan with a handoff, Deb oh, pump fakes, takes it, too strong. Waters comes down with it for Northwest Missouri State. Hudgens stops the dribble, finds Waters. Near side corner, offensive foul. Michael Keegan was named MIAA Freshman of the Year for 2021-2022, and for good reason. Plays like that. Taking the charge. And everything he's been able to do in terms of the blocks yesterday, enters today with 32 blocks to his name. This team right now trailing by five. Guyman looking to cut into the deficit, and he's off the mark. The attempted rebound, Ellis, trying to go around the body of Dreamer. So Ellis will pick up a foul. Legend sends it over. Mitch Mascari. Jump pass near side, Bernard. Pump fakes into the lane. Tough shot, and he got it. Ellis quickly working for three. That miss left, offensive rebound, Keegan. Here's a deep shot on the way, front rim for Guyman. Mascari with the rebound for the Bearcats. Diego Bernard. Out to a quick start, six points following the last connected layup. Hudgens sends it left. Mascari had it poked away. Scramble for the ball, out of bounds. It's tipped back for Washburn. Pushing ahead. Ellis drives inside, working against Dreamer. Gets a little bit of separation, but it hits under the rim. Dreamer claps his hands together in the backcourt. Here comes Hudgens. Jump pass to Dreamer. He's got the range and said tries to drive in. Had a nice cut with Bernard. The basketball was partly tipped. Ichabod's on the move. It's Deffenbaugh. Working against Viscari. Deffenbaugh. Missed it way short right. The basketball flings back for the Bearcats. Inside, Bernard, thought he heard a whistle for a moment. There was no foul called, but now a late whistle underneath the hoop. And that foul will be charged against Northwest Missouri State and Isaiah Jackson. 10.58 remaining in this first half. It's 14-7, Bearcats on top of the Ichabods here in Sioux Falls.
West Missouri State. On top of Washburn, 14 to seven. Under head coach Ben McCollum. This is a team that they are no strangers to national championships, winning last year in 2019 and 2017. They won a national title right here on Heritage Court. McCollum in his 13th season, 328 and 83 overall, 201 and 59 in the MIAA entering the tournament, so give an extra win on both of those. It'll be the Ichabods going quick. Right out of the timeout, attempted alley-oop from Glossing to Keegan. It was just off the mark for a moment. Washburn still going to go inside. Glossing off the glass. Too strong. Dreamer with a rebound. Seven-point advantage for the Bearcats. Looking to extend it on the possession. Bernard directing traffic, calling for the screen. Iron Alexander comes over to give it to him. They find Hudgens from downtown and he knocks it in. Trevor Hudgens gets himself on the board, his first three of the game. Yesterday, he hit a three and route to 19 points total. 10 point lead for the Bearcats. The Ichabods inside, Clossing. Foul on the ground. Dreamer was guarding. So that's the first one tagged against Dreamer. Substitution coming in as Deffenbaugh returns for Washburn. He replaces Kevon Ellis. The inbound from Guyman. Guyman lobs it all the way to the center circle. Deffenbaugh will take it. Here's Keegan to Clossing. Clossing going to back his way in. Jump pass near side. Keegan catch and shoot for three. Switched on through. The freshman connects. Hudgens to Bernard. Bernard attacks. Looking inside, going up strong is Alexander, he's blocked. Guyman up ahead to Keegan, Keegan all the way home. And Keegan himself has a quick 5-0 run. The atmosphere building here in Sioux Falls at Heritage Court in the Sanford Pentagon. Into the corner, Dreamer silences the Ichabod crowd. They're going to trade threes, another one. This one way over the rim. Deffenbaugh off the mark. Slow in the pace is Northwest Missouri State, leading by eight. Here's a deep shot for three off left. Offensive rebound, Dreamer fouled. Dreamer went up and fouled. He'll head to the free throw line. Eight minutes even. Left to go in the first half. It's an eight-point lead for Northwest Missouri State. The Bearcats on top of the Ichabods, 20-12. to 12, Here from the Central Regional in Sioux Falls. All right, stand by camera two, and dissolve into two. 
Special thanks to our entire crew here at the Sanford Pentagon helping us put on this live stream. Don't miss the NCAA Division II Men's Basketball Central Region Championship game. Live coverage only available on Bitco Sports. Tune in 7 p.m. Central Time on TV or stream it live on your favorite device with the Bitco Sports Plus app. Or visit BitcoSports.com to get more information. I'm Jerry Pileschi, and again, on behalf of the entire crew here at the Sanford Pentagon, thanks for joining us here today. The hardworking folks upstairs, they deliver the goods, getting this stream going. Dreamer to the free throw line. First one through for Wes Dreamer, who averages 13 points per game. He's already sitting at 10 in this contest. Five rebounds to his name. Dreamer, 84% from the line this season. Goes two for two, puts the lead back to 10 for the Bearcats. Diamond, he's been quiet throughout this game so far. You know they want to get him involved, he's gonna try here. The laser shot off the back of the rim and then a foul will ring in. Call it on Mascari. So one on Mascari. Iacobans will inbound. Diamond 0 for 4 from the floor, 0 for 2 from downtown. Just waiting for him to potentially heat up. He gives it inside to Clossing. He's blocked from behind by Dreamer. Again, slowing the pace is Northwest Missouri State. Bernard, opposite way of a screen, fakes the pass, goes for the layup, just missed. Flossing with the rebound. Diamond off the screen to the free throw line, pops it up, short. Offensive rebound, Keegan into the corner, Deppenbach, spin move in, runs into his own teammate, and Clossing somehow got the shot up. And the Bearcats will take another breather. The entire bench jumped up looking for a traveling call. It's Bernard and Hudgens. Working the offense. Jump pass. Dreamer, nice pump fake. Took one too many dribbles. Finds Mascari from downtown. And he knocks it through. Mitch Mascari from downtown, the freshman out of Chicago, Illinois, prompts a timeout on the floor. 6-21, left in the first half, and the Bearcats out to a 25-12 start. Let's take another look at it. Drilling it straight through, Mitch Mascari. Mascari. Now in this game, becomes the fifth player to score for Northwest Missouri State. Team leader is Dreamer with 11-6 on the board for Bernard. Hudgens hit the three-pointer earlier. Jackson with two, and Mascari off the bench with three. As a team right now, Northwest Missouri State is shooting 83% from behind the three-point line. Five for six on the night. Also 7 of 14 from the field itself. Some work to be done for Washburn. Winner moves on to take on either Augustana or Upper Iowa. We'll determine that later on tonight. Here's a three from the corner. Deffenbaugh, no. Rebound from Dreamer. Seven rebounds in the game for Dreamer. He's approaching a double-double. And we're in the first half. Hudgens went to attack off a screen. 
to the right side, and Isaiah Jackson with a moving screen. Offensive foul against Jackson, his second personal. Needing to find a spark. Ichabod's down the floor, Guyman has struggled so far today. Tough take and an offensive foul. The charge against Guyman. That's going to be his first personal as planting and taking the charge was Bernard. Bernard stops at the free throw line, kicks it out. Mascari, can he get another? He does. Another three for Mascari. He's got six total. It's 28-12, Northwest Missouri State. Flossing, pulling his way inside over Dreamer. Missed it short. Out of bounds last touch by the Ichabods. Substitutions entering the floor as Andrew Orr will check in. And Levi Braun will return as well. Flossing and Deffenbaugh will head to the bench for the Ichabods. 53% shooting for Northwest Missouri State compared to 18% for Washburn. Under five minutes left in this first half. Hudgens finds Schremer, gets bumped, spin move in the lane, up strong and blocked. Big block from Andrew Orr. Here's a drive. Braun stops, kicks it out. Lewis from downtown, yes. Lewis with five. Hudgens finds Dreamer, pump fakes. Hands it off with Mascari. Bernard, he slashes inside. Pivots around, high off the window and in. Bernard with eight. 15 point lead for Northwest Missouri State. Here's a steal, the lob ahead. Bernard gonna throw it down! We're going to get a little bit of quiet from the crowd. Lewis, baseline jumper connects. Mascari resets. Will be Jackson with it. Jackson, he attacks in reverse layup, no, but the foul. Now coming in on Andrew Moore. That will be his first. That will bring us to a timeout on the floor with three minutes and 20 seconds left in the first half. 32-17, Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn. One more look at that dunk. Lob it forward. Send it home, Diego Bernard.
Welcome back to Heritage Court. Washburn, they trail right now 32-17 to Northwest Missouri State. This guy right here, he's made a lot of history for the Ichabods. And Tyler Guyman, first in three-point field goals attempted and games played, minutes played, second on the team. Hit three-point field goals, defensive rebounds, assists, and assist average. Last night, had himself quite the evening. 21 points, nine rebounds, but so far today, it's been quiet, 0 for 5 from the field, 0 for 2 from beyond the arc, one rebound, one assist. He has a charging foul tagged against him. At the free throw line goes Isaiah Jackson, got the start this evening. First one in. His career high was 11 points. He's done that three times over this season. For the redshirt freshman out of Independence, Missouri, a 71% free throw shooter. Down a bolt. Gives him four on the night. 34-17. Offensive foul. That's the second person on Andrew Orr. And the Ichabods will bring Kevon Ellis back out onto the court. Bernard has had himself a great first half. Stops at the free throw line back out. Mascari, two threes in the game for him. Finds Hudgens to Dreamer. Dreamer, deep shot. It's off the front and bounces off right. Here comes Keegan. The Guyman off the screen. Guyman takes the three just off right. Guyman now 0 for 3 from the on the arc. Hudgens. Nice pass inside reverse layup hits for Isaiah Jackson. Deegan, contact made, blocking foul. Bernard will pick up his first personal. We take another look at it. Keegan went to attack. Bernard wanted the charge. Now on the bonus, it will be Michael Keegan. 69% from the free throw line entering tonight. Three big blocks in yesterday's win over Minnesota Duluth. Take another look at this nice pass inside. Hudgens to Stewart, or Jackson, excuse me. Second one is off the mark. Rebound from Dreamer. That's his ninth rebound. One rebound away from a first half double-double. Hudgens will give it to Mascari. He's going to take another shot. Three for three. Thirty-nine, eighteen. Will be Lewis off right side, left open for three, and answering him back is Levi Braun. Ninety seconds left to go, first half. Dreamer tries to hand it off to Hudgens. Saves it from going into the backcourt. Shot clock down to five. Contact made. The foul will be charged on Tyler Guyman. It's his second personal foul. Bonus free throws will be on the way for the Bearcats. Stepping up to the line will be Trevor Hudgens. One in one situation, 88% from the free throw line this season. A left handed shooter. Missed. One minute left to go in the first half. Diamond, back out, three on the way, and that connects through Levi Braun. Back-to-back -back threes for Braun, he's got six total. The 
think about crowd rising up. Trying to fight their way back. Getting a little crafty. Trying to find somewhere to go is Bernard. Blocking foul against oh, Stefan Bob. That is his second personal. At the free throw line goes Bernard. First one through. Stays perfect from the line. So far tonight, five for five. 11 points and the three assists for Bernard. Got them both. Forty-one twenty-four. Lewis will take it. Sends it back over to Braun. Jump pass. Def and Bob pump fakes into the corner. Here's a downtown shot and knocking it in is Keegan. One last opportunity for Northwest Missouri State. We extend the advantage before the break. Hudgens. Down to two, down to one. Dreamer at the horn. No. It was close, but an entertaining first half between these two MIAA opponents throughout the season. 41 27, Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn. We'll be back in a moment for the Sanford Pentagon in Sioux Falls. Time here in Sioux Falls at the Sanford Pentagon, the Central Region. Semi-final action, Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn, 41-27, an entertaining first half. Please be joined here at halftime. Augustan Athletic Director Josh Morton has joined the broadcast booth. And Josh, welcome. Thank and, you. And uh, congratulations on hosting this great event with the Central Region taking place here at the Sanford Pentagon, and I'm sure it feels home sweet home to you guys. Oh, it's great. You know, it's um, number one, in order to host, you got to have a great team. <laughs> so luckily we have that. Uh, our team has had such a great year. It's, it's nice to be able to, to host. And this venue is perfect, right? I mean, you, you, there's no better place for, I don't think, for Division II basketball uh, than the Sanford Pentagon. Uh, it's been our home now for three years. Uh, has hosted so many great events, even outside of Augustana basketball. So, uh, no, we're thrilled to be here. It's a ton of work, and I, our, our staff has been just terrific. Luke Groth, our associate for operations, has been our tournament director. Um, but it, it's so far so good, and we look forward to a uh, next few days of great basketball. A big game coming up tonight as Augustana takes on Upper Iowa. Yep. Coverage begins roughly about 7.30, but the quality of basketball that has been yeah. played yesterday and so far even in this game, this central region, this is crazy. Well, in, in terms of the competition you guys have to get through to, to even get to a quarterfinal. I know, I really think so, Jay. I mean, I, th I, I think we th this is the best region in the country. And I think when we... Uh, we had our, our uh, all teams came together on Tuesday for our Zoom meet, and, and what we told them was, you know, we know this is the most competitive region in the country. We also want to make it the best experience for the teams. Um, and yeah, the best high quality basketball. Man, I was here all day yesterday, and uh, can't get any better. And uh, yeah, we're expecting. Uh, I think we'll play well tonight. Obviously, split with Upper Iowa during the regular season, much like these guys did, and then played each other in their conference tournament. Um, so, yeah, high-quality basketball. The team that leaves here 
will be poised to compete very well for a national championship. You have a lot going on at Augustana. Of course, basketball kind of takes center stage in the month yeah. of March, but what else do you have going on throughout the course of the winter season no. as we approach the spring? Yeah, the last 72 hours, we've crowned 12 new All-Americans in uh, wrestling, swimming, and track and field. Just, uh, just incredible. Uh, so proud of our winter sport athletes. Um, uh, Jack Hoffman, uh, Jack Hoffman for, for wrestling, Taylor Beagle for swimming, and then we had 10 indoor track and field All-Americans. So just a great few days. It, it, it's about the overall excellence of our athletics department. You know, our goal is to win the Director's Cup one day. And uh, years like this where we, where we feel like we're, we're in great position thanks to the, the way our athletes competed over the last 72 hours. And the future certainly looking bright as well for Augustana and your guys' transition to Division I hockey, the new yeah. arena going up over at the uh, campus location on 33rd and Grange. What's the what's the progress yeah, been like could, for, for the hockey program? Uh, it has been an amazing 11 months. You know, it all started back in April, April of 2021, uh, with a lead gift to launch a men's hockey program that competes at the Division One level. Uh, we're so excited about the excitement in our community for it. Our community's ready for it. We, we will break ground on Midco Arena here in, uh, on April 1st or whenever winter ends, uh, hopefully soon. We'll hire a coach in the next 45 days and we want to find a conference home. Those are our three priorities for this academic year, but it has been absolutely unbelievable. We can't wait to drop the puck in 2023. Well, I was hoping you were going to you know, spread some news today, <laughs> maybe tell me the conference. Not ready. Tell us everything well, that you were ready yeah. to break some big news today. Well, Josh, thanks for coming over. It's a thanks, Jerry. Great, great, event, to have you. great event inside the Sanford Pentagon with this, with this tournament and just a fantastic atmosphere that has been provided. Yep, no, we look forward to uh, a great night, Captain Well, Halftime here inside the Sanford Pentagon. It is Northwest Missouri State 41, Washburn 27.
41-27, your halftime lead, Northwest Missouri State on top of Conference Row Washburn in the semifinals, Central Region. Let's take a look at some of the team stats from the first half of playing. Northwest Missouri State shooting 55% from the floor, 70% from behind the three-point line, and then from the free throw line, 91% compared to Washburn. At one point in the first half, shots is 18%. They were able to pull that back up to 32% here at the break. 37% from behind the three-point line. And you take a look at the rebounds, the points in the paint in favor of Northwest Missouri State. Bench points, even the turnovers, an advantage for the Bearcats. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half of play between these two. So West Dreamer playing a big part of that first half, almost under the first half of the double-double. 11 points, eight total rebounds. Fourth time this season, these two matching up. Deffenbaum got things going with a three, but it was answered with a West Dreamer three of his own. Dreamer from downtown, three for five. Kevon Ellis off the bench. But Diego Bernard had himself a first half. Bernard finished with 12 points in the first half of play. Here's an assist that was tallied over for Trevor Hudgens. Three ball for the freshman and Michael Keegan. Now pass, another downtown shot. Again, 70% from behind the arc for Northwest Missouri State in the first half, and the thunderous dunk from Diego Bernard. Big turning point of the game as Lewis trying to inch his team a little bit closer following that dunk. The nice feed inside for Isaiah Jackson. Levi Braun off the bench, two three-pointers for him. Mitch Mascari off the bench. He had three three-pointers in the first half. You see the next one from Braun. Another one from Keegan. A lot to handle, though, in that first half of play for Northwest Missouri State and the offense that they have pushed on this Washburn Ichabod's team. Tyler Guyman was held scoreless in the first half in 20 minutes of play. We'll see if he's able to turn that around in the second half. From the Sanford Pentagon in Sioux Falls, it's Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn, 41-27 at the break. Inside the Sanford Pentagon, let's take a look at the Central Region bracket. This Augustana and Upper Iowa is set to take place tonight, shortly after the conclusion of this semifinal matchup between Washburn and Northwest Missouri State as play gets underway 
Here in the second half, I'm Jerry Palesha. You can catch Tuesday night's championship game live on Midco Sports or on the Midco Sports app. Will be the Ichabods with basketball to start. The second half of play, Clossing. Still pretty quiet in the first half. No points, a couple of opportunities on shots. He went 0 for 3. And here's a steal for Diego Bernard. Bernard, his third steal of the game. Will be Jackson setting it up for Northwest Missouri State. Dreamer back to Jackson. Bernard Waters and Hudgens, the remaining players on the floor for the Bearcats. Thought about the shot instead. Foot on the sideline turns the ball over for the big man and Luke Waters. Saw that quite a few times yesterday. Stretched across all four quarterfinal games. There's something about that near side sideline that has tripped up a lot of players. Washburn on the floor, Deffenbaugh, Guyman, Lewis, Keegan, and Clossing. Bounce pass over to Lewis. Floats it up, offensive foul. Third personal foul. Charge against Jalen Lewis. Take another look at it. As again, planting himself and taking another charge in this game is Diego Bernard. He was the MIAA Defensive Player of the Year. See that coming through. Dreamer lost the dribble, sends it back out to Hudgens. Near side, Bernard's going to chalk the three. It's off the front of the rim. Diamond with the rebound. Diamond down the left blocks. Inside for Deffenbaugh. Tangle for the ball. Last touch by the Bearcats. feel like for the Ichabods, they just need some form of momentum from that guy and Tyler Guyman. Luke Waters picks up another foul. You see Guyman there. He's quiet all the way through the first half. Very just for him this season, for a guy that averages 16 points per game, just so uncommon. For him to be sitting right now with zero. Clossing against Dreamer. This time it goes. On the board goes Clossing. Bernard drives the baseline. Tries to send it back to the high top. It's a turnover for the Bearcats. Over and back gives the basketball to the Ichabods. To the head coach of Washburn, Brent Ballard, taking a seat 137 and 78 in his career. 104 and 48 at Washburn. He's a graduate of Kansas. He was an assistant at Kansas from 03 to 10. As a head coach at Baker from 2010 to 2012, an assistant at Tulsa and at Wake Forest before becoming the head coach. Ten point lead for Northwest Missouri State as Washburn. Starting the second half strong. Bernard inside. Contact and a foul. Calling on Deffenbaugh to take another look. Contact made on the back of Bernard. Inbound goes to Bernard. Tough shot from about 14. Off left, rebound from Jackson. Jump pass, Dreamer back, and resetting with Hudgens. Hudgens inside, nice dish, and the finish. Isaiah Jackson, eight points for Jackson. 
The lead back to 12. Lewis to Guyman from downtown. Still off. Last touch going out of bounds by the Ichabods. Fred Ballard wanting a foul call. As he paces the sideline. Bernard looking for Dreamer, floats it over his head. Mascari saves it, gets it back. Another feed, Jackson, Dreamer, Hudgens, Bernard, five on the shot clock. Bernard, tough take, just off. Guyman inside, back out, Deffenbaugh, back to Guyman. Floats it up, short again. Offensive rebound, crossing Lewis from downtown, in and out. Jackson with the rebound, Bearcats will slow the pace. In the corner, Mascari, pump fakes, drives out, Dreamer from downtown. It's off right, saved in the corner, however, by Jackson. Hudgens with 10 on the shot clock. Hudgens in, tough shot. Over the rim, out of bounds. Timeout on the floor, 14-59. Left to play in the ball game, Northwest Missouri State. Trying to punch their ticket to the Central Final tomorrow night. They have the lead over Washburn, 43-31. They're the defending national champions, Northwest Missouri State, their 22nd tournament appearance. Nine straight years they've done so. Won the national championship in 2017, 2019, and last year. And they won that 2017 championship right here in Sioux Falls at the Sanford Pentagon. They're looking to march their way forward to the Central Region Final coming up on Tuesday night. Trying to do so against their conference foe in Washburn. 43-31, largest lead of the game was 21 points at the two minute mark remaining of the first half for Northwest Missouri State, it was 39-18. Yikabans, cut it down to 10 just moments ago. Been hovering about that 12 point mark. And out of bounds, I say last touch by Northwest Missouri State. Ben McCollum, the head coach for the Bearcats, standing with his hands on his hips. Nice behind the back pass. Here's the shot and the drill connected for Michael Keegan. Beautiful setup. Keegan gets the credit on the points. He has 11 total. Scari had three three-pointers in the first half. Going to drive, Jackson, hard fall down to the ground. 
off the foul for Deffenbaugh. That would be his four. So four on Deffenbaugh. Take another look. Tough ball for Isaiah Jackson. Deffenbaugh will head to the bench with the four fouls. Jackson to inbound. Does so to Bernard. Bernard, back to the basket. Double team finds Dreamer. The wing three, way short. See from the bench, Andrew Orr trying to get his teammates fired up a little bit following the air ball of Andrew West Dreamer. Another foul, this time on the opposite end. Charge on Mitch Mascari. Luke Waters going to check back in. He'll replace Mascari. The inbound finds Keegan. Levi Braun in the contest as well for the Ichabons. Here comes Guyman. Inside, stops the dribble. Jump pass to the far corner. Lewis takes the shot in and out. Bernard tallies his first rebound of the night. And he's going to walk it forward. Bernard turns on the Jets. Almost fell down with the basketball. It'll be Hudgens. Up strong, hit from behind, and he puts it in. Count it for Trevor Hudgens, who will step up to the free throw line for the old-fashioned three-point play opportunity. Take another look. Double team, didn't care. Oh for one from the line. going to stay in the 0 for column. Forty-five, thirty-three, Northwest Missouri State. Here come on, St. Guyman. Opposite way of the screen. He's going to take it straight to the basket. Reverse layup gets him on the board. Took almost a half and then a half of a half for Guyman to notch his first points. Here's Bernard from downtown off the back of the rim. Save Jackson inside, another foul. Ellis charged on his first. Found out of last night's game. At the free throw line goes Isaiah Jackson. Two for two at the line so far. Eight points, six rebounds. This is the first of two. Brett Ballard looking at strategy in front of him. Second one goes. Three for four at the line for Jackson. Nine total points. Bearcat fans stand on their feet, making some noise on defense. A steal. Jackson comes down with it. Twelve minutes left to play. Hudgens off the screen. Lost the ball for a moment. Looked like he attempted to give a pass to Dreamer inside. Offensive foul. Keegan takes the charge. Hudgens picks up the foul, his first. Brings us to a timeout on the floor. 11.38 to play. Winner moves on to take on Augustana or Upper Iowa. Hudgens. Barreling through the chest of Keegan. 
It'll be Ichabod's basketball when we return. The road to Ichabods will take the basketball out of the timeout, but what exactly is an Ichabod? It's named from an early benefactor of the school, Ichabod Washburn. The students began referring to themselves as that back in the late 1800s. And the mascot finally given an image, 1938. Ichabods have some work to do, trailing 46 to 35. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Jerry Pileschi. On behalf of the entire staff here at the Sanford Pentagon, Lewis will drive. Went for the pass, instead put it up, and that drops in. Impressive move for Jalen Lewis. Here's Hudgens. Into the corner, Dreamer from downtown, off the rim. Rebound, again fought for inside. He has done some dirty work in Jackson all the way throughout this game. And a foul call underneath the hoop. He got the start here tonight. Last night, he was not in the starting lineup, came off the bench. Byron Alexander was the man to get the call. Alexander has appeared in this game, played approximately five minutes in the first half, but outside of that, it's been all Isaiah Jackson. Bernard, high top travel. The big man for Washburn returns in Johnny Clausing. Clausing checks in for Levi Braun. Ben McCollum watching on for Northwest Missouri State. Lewis finds Guyman. Right back to him. Inside to Clausing. Nice post move and crossing for two. Six in the game for the big man. 46-39. The deficit at one point for Washburn was 21. Getting stuffed, Bernard crossing with it. What a move for Lewis with the foul. Count it with an and one opportunity. Let's take another look. What a shot for Jalen Lewis. And now an opportunity to get his team within four. And he does. Both teams about even in field goal percentage. Both at 41% as it stands right now. 41.2 in favor of Northwest Missouri State. Tough shot for Bernard, no. Lewis with the rebound. He's been the spark with 12 points for the Ichabods. 
Lewis to Guyman. Guyman looking to drive. Whistle and foul on the Bearcats. Fouling on Hudgens and heading to the bench for a break is Diego Bernard. So Mascari returns. So Bernard will take a breather. An opportunity here potentially for the Ichabons. Lewis, offensive foul with Ellis. Devon Ellis charged with the offensive foul. Brett Ballard. Almost like he was playing charades. And describing the motion of what exactly he saw. Here's a deep three. Waters from downtown. Lead back to seven. Klossick. Inside triple team. Had it stolen away. Waters and Jackson. Combined to take the ball away. As again, Hudgens will slow the pace. Hudgens inside back out. Waters thought about another three, had it stolen, stripped, it's back into the hands of Waters. He's able to find Jackson. Shot clock was down to two. He heaves it up and bounces off the right side of the rim, out of bounds. Substitution in. As for the Ichabons, it will be Deffenbaugh who returns. He has four fouls charged against him. So keep an eye on that. Keegan inside, crossing the give and go. Keegan had it stripped out of his hands. Last touch by the Bearcats. It will stay with the Ichabons. The inbound to Clausen, right elbow. Ma, Guyman, Guyman, given space, three on the way, off the mark again. Rebound, Deffenbaugh, found by Dreamer. We got a good one brewing here in Sioux Falls. 7.59 to play, Northwest Missouri State on top by seven of our conference rival, Washburn. If you want basketball, the place to be is right here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Postseason basketball like crazy at the NSIC Sanford Health Basketball Tournament a couple weeks ago. Summer League Basketball Tournament last weekend at the Premier Center. The Central Regional, of course, going on right now. And then coming up on Thursday, the South Dakota Class AA Boys State Tournament takes place at the Denny Sanford Premier Center. Great facilities all the way across Sioux Falls. Whether it is the Denny Sanford Premier Center, it seats about 12,000 people. Here at the Sanford Pentagon, about 3,200 people. One of the best atmospheres that you can find for basketball across the entire country. Put it up against anybody right here at the Sanford Pentagon. This place has been electric for this one. Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn, 49-42. 
as the Ichabods continue to chirp away at this lead as Fossing got it. Five point lead. Largest lead of the game was 21 points in the first half by Northwest Missouri State. Hudgens kicks it over to Waters. Shot clock down to five. Dreamer, wing three is good. However, there was a foul also called. Bernard fell down to the ground. They're going to discuss this. Let's take another look at the replay as Waters over to Dreamer. The foul was on Keegan. So they're confirming here on the basket itself. Otherwise, they'll set up for a one and one. So they're checking this one over again of whether the basket will count. If you take a look, Keegan going through the body of Bernard. Bearcats. Of course, want the basket to go. They're going to bring him back as well because it will be a one and one for Diego Bernard. So they count the three, and now it's a one and one situation for Diego Bernard. So potentially you could walk away with a five point possession. If you're Northwest Missouri State, Bernard six for six, make it seven for seven. To put the lead back to 10, he does. A five point possession for Northwest Missouri State off the three from Dreamer, the foul. That was against Bernard. Bernard went to the free throw line and got both. Flossing against Dreamer. Up strong, off the window, too strong. Hudgens and company looking to punch their ticket to the region championship coming up on Tuesday night. They lead by 10, but still 6.41 to play. Hudgens into the corner. Dreamer for three. This one was short. Coming down with it and coming up the court with it is Lewis. Lewis to Deffenbach. Deffenbach against Waters. Chris crosses, pops the jumper, and got it. Deffenbach, four points in the game. Here's Bernard. Shot clock down to five. Angles left, takes the awkward shot. Too much. Keegan with the rebound, hands it over to Guyman, almost had it stolen away, gives it right back to Keegan, takes the floor, gets the two. There was contact underneath with Clossing and Dreamer. Dreamer was looking for an offensive foul against Clossing. It's not granted, it's an easy two. These two teams, they've played each other. This is now the fourth time this season. Eighth meeting in the last two seasons. Four of those eight meetings have played, been played within one possession. Waters from downtown, and the ball will sail out of bounds.
Six-point deficit for Washburn. But they have the ball with five minutes to go. Largest lead, Bearcats 21. Washburn did have a lead, but it was very early in the first half. They led 2-0. Shot clock at five. Keegan, Clausen, mid-range, no. Hudgens against Guyman. It is. Hudgens inside, back out. Left open, Bernard. And that, off the mark too. So you can't get a much more wide open shot than that for Diego Bernard, who's been pretty much money all night. Guyman, he struggled all night. Deffenbaugh will pick up his fifth personal foul, and his day will come to an end. Deffenbaugh will head to the bench. His day will come to an end with four total points, two of seven shooting over three from downtown, three rebounds, two assists. Bernard at the free throw line, stays perfect. 15 points, three rebounds, three assists. You got them both. Four minutes to go. Here's Lewis. Lewis, the deep two. In and out, flying up for the rebound is Bernard. Hudgens, opposite way of the screen from Waters. Inside the lane, back out. Ten on the shot clock. Off the screen, Waters, high top, shot clock down to two. Takes the shot from inside the paint. The lead back to 10. And a reach in foul against Isaiah Jackson. Timeout on the floor, three minutes, four seconds. All that's left to go. Winner moves on to take on either Augustana or Upper Iowa. Ten-point lead for Northwest Missouri State. See the defending champs talking things over in the huddle with Ben McCollum, the head coach of Northwest Missouri State, his team leading by 10, 58-48, which is three minutes and four seconds left to play. The Washburn fan made the trip, they made plenty of noise. There's the head coach for the Ichabods and Brent Ballard. Chipped away at what was at one point a 21-point deficit. They'll be without Connor Deffenbaugh, who was fouled out of this game. And the free throw line goes Tyler Guyman. A very, very off day for Guyman. One of 11 shooting, 0 for 6 from the three-point line, and his one-and-one -one opportunity is off. 
for a guy that shoots 72% from the free throw line this season. The team's leading scorer, only two points on the board. Hudgens attacks, back out, gets it back. Hudgens against Lewis. Down the left blocks, up, over the top of Clausen. And the lead is 12. Clausen looking to answer back, yes. Be a timeout on the floor for Washburn at the 219 mark here in the second half. Again, winner moves on to take on either Augustana or Upper Iowa. And thank you for joining us here on the live stream. We will have coverage of that game as well. Battle between two NSIC foes on the way. Just about an hour from now to MIAA. Conference opponents playing for the fourth time as you take a look at the Augustana Vikings and Akoi Akoi Company. Sitting and watching. Staff members with Upper Iowa. All waiting to see who their opponent may be coming up on Tuesday night. Coverage of Tuesday night's game can be found on Midco Sports with the Midco Sports app. been a great tournament so far. The quarterfinals last night, four great games. A lot of games in which we've seen the point swings. Augustana last night, it's not very often you see a, about a 30, if I recall, 31 point swing in that game. And then here in this one, it was a 21 point deficit that the Ichabods were up against. Cut it down to eight, now sitting at 10. It's been hovering about the 10 to 12 mark for the last six minutes or so. They need one more run. See if the Bearcats can hold them off and get to Tuesday. Racing the floor is Jackson. Jackson almost had it stripped away, foul rings in. They call it on Kevon Ellis. And that will end the day as well for Kevon Ellis. Ellis. Two games here in Sioux Falls for this tournament. Both games he's found out. Free throw for Jackson. Four for five. In that stat column, three for six for the field. He's got 10 points, eight rebounds, one assist. One more opportunity. The lead is 12 for Northwest Missouri State. Diamond. Trying to go up is rejected away by Dreamer. In the backcourt is Bernard, finds Hudgens. Lewis comes up the guard with under two minutes to play. Shot clock rolling down, Dreamer. Pump fakes, try to get separation from the freshman Keegan. Keegan instead will pick up the foul. <laughs> West Streamer with a double double tonight. 14 points, 11 rebounds. First free throw is good.
Keegan left open for three. Swiss. Timeout, Washburn. 11 point deficit with a minute 26 to go. Points in the paint in favor of the Ichabods, 20 to 18. Fast break points also in favor of Washburn, 7 to 4. The second chance, however, Northwest Missouri State has controlled that 5 to 2. Take a look at both of the huddles right now for both of these two teams. 13 turnovers against Washburn, 10 for Northwest Missouri State. Equal production from the bench on both sides, nine points apiece. Leading scorers for Northwest Missouri State, two with 16 total points, Clark and Dreamer, both with 16. The other side, 16 points for Keegan. The inbounds, Bernard to Hudgens. Hudgens trapped, looking for Dreamer, almost went out of bounds with it, floats it down the floor, where Waters will take it, and he gets hacked by Clausen. the first foul against Klausik. At the free throw line goes Luke Waters. Waters with five points. His first appearance at the free throw line in the game, 77%. For the man that stands six foot six in his sophomore year. Both of them go. 13 point lead. Lewis, high top, drives, down the right blocks, left it short, tip back is there. One minute remaining. Hudgens, jump pass over to Jackson. Jackson's fouled in the backcourt. Tyler Guyman will pick up his third personal foul. So Isaiah Jackson back to the free throw line where he's five of six. It's the third player in double figures tonight for Northwest Missouri State. Jackson close to the double-double with eight rebounds. Two steals to his name in this contest. Sixty-eight fifty-five. Fifty-five seconds to go. Lewis will take it. Drives with the float, and he's stuffed by Dreamer. Bernard in the backcourt, fouled again. And here comes the walk all the way down to the free throw line. Bearcat fans that made the trip to Sioux Falls on their feet. The man that provided a huge spark in the first half, Diego Bernard, at the free throw line, stays perfect. I was just held on there for a moment. One more, 12 for 12. 18 total points for Diego Bernard. Yesterday, didn't necessarily have the first half that would be on the stat sheet as the three for Keegan not there. But in the second half, he got the points going. He did a lot of the dirty work in the first half of play yesterday. And today, he's going to end up finishing as the team's leading scorer for Northwest Missouri State with 18 total points. Quick timeout taken by the Bearcats as they will just make a quick substitution, it appears. Or they'll let Washburn make a line change for the final 19.3 seconds. They have a moment for the crowd to recognize the seniors and the members for this 
starting lineup and some of the bench members. And Northwest Missouri State will also exchange. For a guy like Tyler Guyman, who's played in the most minutes and games in Washburn history. 141 games will go down in his record book. Mitch Mascari hit three three-pointers in the first half. Will go to dribble out as much as what he can. The shot clock expires. The inbound into the hands for Washburn and Jaden Monday. And that will do it. A 15-point win for Northwest Missouri State. The Bearcats are on their way to the Central Final. Coming up on Tuesday night, they get either Augustana or Upper Iowa, and we'll determine that here in a little bit. The two teams, conference foes, four times they played this season. And it will be the Bearcats getting the better of the Ichabods. Take a look at the team stats from tonight's game. 70-55, final score, Northwest Missouri State with the win. Bearcats shot 41% to the field, 43% from behind the arc, 89% to the free throw line. Washburn, 41% to the field, 32% from the three-point line, and 67% from the free throw line tonight. Northwest Missouri State led in part by Diego Bernard, 18 points, 16 for Dreamer, 13 for Jackson. Washburn tonight, 16 for Keegan, 10 for Clossing, 6 for Braun. Points in the paint in favor of Washburn. The rebounds, though, in favor of the Bearcats. Bench points even, turnovers, a plus two advantage for Northwest Missouri State. The defending national champions. We'll make it to the Central Final on Tuesday night on Midco Sports with the Midco Sports app. We'll take a look at the updated bracket, and there they are. The team also rushed to the hallway here at the Sanford Pentagon, put their name on the bracket. Augustana and Upper Iowa, the last ticket to punch to that final on Tuesday night. 70-55, the final score with Northwest Missouri State. And a great performance here this evening. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from this one. There's Michael Keegan, the freshman, with an impressive couple-day performance here in Sioux Falls. Bearcats with the feet inside. What a day it was for Isaiah Jackson. Jackson didn't start yesterday, started today, 13 total points. Hudgens inside. Kind of a struggle for Diamond here this afternoon. Lewis providing a little bit of a spark. At one point they trailed by 21 for Washburn. They battled their way back, but the Bearcats just a little too much to handle. Big three from Dreamer. And that was on the five-point possession in series. Diego Bernard hit two free throws after that. And that was the difference maker, really, in the swing of momentum. The Bearcats move on. 70-55, your final score. Augustana and Upper Iowa coming up shortly here from Sioux Falls. Take one last look. The Bearcats punch their ticket.